everybody welcome back to epic beauty fail i'm jessica in today's video we're gonna be doing another foundation friday and today we'll be wrapping up my what five weeks of uh, bb creams now this one is technically a skin tint this is from first aid beauty it's a triple protection skin tint with goji berry so that is what the packaging looks like i'm not sure if it's gonna focus here there it looks like it, it is focusing i am gonna be wearing my glasses today because i am too lazy to put my contacts in I just am. And it has been, oh, I don't know, probably a month since I filmed the other four. I filmed the other four back to back before I went on vacation and I just couldn't get this one fit in before my vacation. And it's been about a month since I filmed a foundation review, but I'm about to go to the beach and I wanted to try this last one. There are four other ones that I've already tried and I'm leaning towards one, maybe two, bringing with me to the beach. I'm only gonna be bringing BB creams to, to the beach. So I wanted to try this last one before I head out. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you from the Sephora website, actually, because I couldn't find this easily on my phone on the First Aid Beauty website. For some reason, I couldn't find a search function and it just might have been user error, but I couldn't find a search function. So what it is, a weightless skin tint that imparts buildable color while protecting against sun pollution and environmental aggressors. What does, wh what it does, what it, do it just says what does, what it does. This weightless complexion fluid adds natural looking color to help even skin tone, conceal imperfections and create a flawless look while helping to protect against the harmful effects of the sun and urban pollution. The superfood powered formulation includes antioxidant rich ingredients, including goji berry, I can't pronounce that word, astaxanthin, and vitamin C to help shield skin from environmental aggressors along with anti-pollution active ingredient, alteromonas, I don't know, ferment extract. Pure mineral zinc oxide helps filter out harmful UVA and UVB rays and helps protect skin from photoaging. This ultra light breathable fluid glides easily and effortlessly onto skin for simple brush free buildable coverage. It's available in four adaptable shades to suit a wide spectrum of complexions. So this shade I actually picked up at TJ Maxx for $19.99. It is in the shade Fair. I don't know that you guys are gonna be able to see that, but it is in the shade Fair and, oh, I'm sorry. No, I picked it up at Marshall's for $9.99. What am I talking about? That tag says $9.99 and it says Marshall's, not TJ Maxx and $19.99. Whatever. It's $9.99. I got it at Marshall's. Now, on the Sephora website, it is still for sale, but the only shade that they seem to have right now is medium. It is not on sale, like it's not marked down, but it's marked at $34. Like I said, the only color they seem to have right now is medium, unless this this page right here is not the main page for it. I'm not sure. Sometimes the Sephora app does some different things. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put my phone down. I did spray my face down with my Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. That is all I've done to my face this morning, other than, you know, regular cleansing and everything. Um, but... I'm going to go ahead in with this. I'm going to be using my hands today to put it on because that's what I was using on the rest of my BB creams as I'd reviewed those. So I'm going to go ahead and take my glasses off. I am blind as a bat without my glasses. So I'm going to try to make it not look too bad on my face. All right. This is very liquidy. Or at least it sounds very liquidy. Hopefully it's not ruined. I am going to put some on my hand. All right, it is, it is definitely liquidy, just not as liquidy as I thought it was going to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of blend this into my skin. I'm gonna need more definitely, but let's see how this goes. All right, so I'm not sure if you could tell with the sped up video, but I'm having a lot of issues getting this to stick to my nose. Sorry, I'm getting a tissue to wipe it off my hands because um, it's everywhere once you put it on your hands, but I'm having a hard time getting it to sit evenly on my nose and really cover anything on my nose as well. It's definitely getting in my pores on my nose, but other than that, I'm really just struggling to get it to give me any coverage on my nose. Yeah, I'm not liking it on my nose at all. I just keep trying to put more and more on my nose and it just, as I blend it with my fingers, it's just blending like right away, 
which is very, very frustrating. The other thing I will say about this is it's definitely more yellow than I would typically prefer. Um, now it is just a BB cream. It doesn't have like any undertones to it or anything like that, or at least, you know, published undertones. Um, I'm actually seeing my fingerprints on my nose. That's weird, right? I think it's weird. Like I can actually see a thumb uh, fingerprint right on the middle of my nose, like right there. Don't zoom in too close. You might be able to steal my identity. That is really weird. <laughs> okay. We're going to leave it at that. I am going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup. Let's see. I actually put my, plugged my phone in because it, it the battery is almost dead. Let me grab it real quick. So the time now is 9.05. I'm not even sure if you can see that. Let me put my glasses back on. I am very concerned that this is not going to stay on with my glasses. So we'll see that today too. Is it even showing? It's 9.06 now. All right. So I'm going to keep this on until at least five o'clock. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup. I'm not going to be putting on any powder today, just a little bit of eye makeup, a little bit on my face as well, like some, some powders on my face. And I will be back in just a moment. All right, you guys, I just finished my makeup. It is 917. Again, not sure if that is focusing, but uh, literally took me 10 or 11 minutes to do my makeup. I'm going to tell you what I put on my face. I put a little bit of the, uh, what is this? The balm, take home the bronze and Oliver on my cheeks. The Tarte Amazonian Clay uh, Blush in Party and the Pixie and Aspen Ovard collab. This is not available anymore, but this is in London Luster. And I love this highlighter. I just do. I um, am very very sad that they no longer have it there is 10 grams in here it'll probably last me well it'll probably go bad before i use it all but i love that highlighter i really really do so if i could only have one highlighter from now until forever that might be it maybe i'm not 100 certain but anyway on my lips i have the mark jacobs what are they, these called this is the hydrating lip gloss stick in preach which it's just literally like it, it's a lip gloss stick so uh, it's a peach color um, I like the formula I'm not crazy about the peach color I went through a phase and I'm still kind of going through that phase where I'm trying to get lip products that are shades that I don't have a lot of the problem is is that I don't have a lot of them because I'm not super fond of the way they look on me so peach it's not terrible it's just not something I normally gravitate to uh, I do have my Benefit Roller Lash on my lashes, and then I'm actually using my Milani Bold Obsessions palette, and you might be like, Jessica, Bold Obsessions, how did you get such a simple look? Literally, I put this shade all over the lid, this shade all over the lid, and then the gold shimmer just on the, pr the, the, the lid proper. And that's it. Three shades, Bold Obsessions, very, very minimal, I think. I don't think it's too crazy. So I'm going to actually put my glasses back on. And I will say this, my glasses, uh, nose pieces are covered in foundation or a skin tint. So that is not going to work very well with the glasses. I have already determined that. So if you're a glasses wearer, you might want to either bring this little bottle with you if you're going to put some on to touch up or just be aware that it is going to wear off underneath your nose pieces. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in and we can talk about this. So it did settle on my nose and I think I'm trying to remember, I think I had another BB cream do that where it looked really bad on my nose. And then as it kind of sat, it got, it looked better. Um, yeah. Yeah. Overall, on my skin, I think it actually looks pretty nice. Um, I still have a lot of natural redness coming in here. I only put a dab of blush on each of my cheeks. I mean, you might not even be able to see it in the back portion of my cheek because I only put a little bit. Um, I mean, I tapped my brush in once, tapped the brush off, and then put it on because I do have a lot of my natural redness still sort of coming through. This didn't really cover any of my blemishes. Um, I could have put some concealer on, but I chose not to. I was like, nah, I'm not... I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I just have a couple here on my chin, which is standard for me. I, I have a lot of blemishes that typically show up on my chin. Uh, it is a problem area. It is a problem area. So overall, though, I think it's looking pretty good. It's actually getting in my line on my forehead. I'm not sure if the camera here will pick that up, but I don't know. Anyway, overall, I don't think it looks bad. In fact, I think it looks pretty good for now, uh, you know, 
15 minutes after it's on. Uh, but I will check in at about one o'clock and then again at about five o'clock. So I will see you guys then. All right, you guys, it is time for my midday check-in. If I can get my watch here. Can you guys see it? It's about 1.07-ish, somewhere in there. Sorry for the weird angle, I forgot my cell phone, so I figured I'd just show you my watch. Anyway, I took my glasses off just so I can show you the close-ups of my face. I'm gonna step out into the sunshine. It is sunny here today in Pennsylvania. So I'm gonna show you my face close up, and then we're gonna go back into the shadow. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the shadow, but talk about it more. It is a little bit hard to see when I'm in the direct sunlight because of the shadow that my face naturally gives to itself, but ooh, I just hit the step. All right, so I'm gonna just step into a little bit of a shadow here and just give you a really close up look. So I'm gonna put my glasses back on. You can see where my glass, my glasses and nose piece are. It's it's gone. So, oh, look at this shade on my sun, on my glasses. These are some of those um, auto shading glasses. So, super shady. Anyhow, <laughs> um, you can tell that this does not stand up very well to. Uh, nose pieces so if you're gonna be wearing sunglasses or glasses or something like that like I said you could probably bring that little bottle with you it's not super heavy I mean it is an ounce so it's tiny it's small and it's not super heavy so you could easily bring it and then like just do touch-ups in the car or something but um, looking at this I have a couple things to say number one not high coverage i didn't expect it to it's a skin tint it's there to pretty much just balance out the skin right it's not going to be um you know full coverage foundation it's not even going to be a medium coverage foundation i was able to build it up a little bit on my cheeks to you know tone down the redness that i naturally have but um definitely not get rid of it so it's definitely a light coverage which i personally don't mind i actually really enjoy lighter coverage foundations because it doesn't sit in my wrinkles too much or my lines I am a little concerned about how much it's in my forehead line. It, it's not terrible, but it is definitely kind of sitting in there, especially on this side of my forehead. Again, not terrible. Even at, at, like at arm's length, you really can't even see it. Um, my biggest issue really is my nose. I feel like it still didn't really sit well on my nose. Other than that though, overall, I think it looks pretty good as far as like as long as you're okay with light coverage um which i personally am i prefer a light coverage so this for me is not bad at all i'm not looking oily i'm not looking greasy it is kind of warm here not too overtly warm though and it's not super humid so it's like temperature wise it's like perfect outside right now um this is the first time i'm leaving the house though i've been in the house all day so anyway so far four hours in i am actually kind of liking it except for those couple of things like I said the line on my forehead not giving me a whole lot of coverage across my nose but I'm leaning more towards liking than disliking at this point I will see you guys at four more hours <laughs> bye all right everybody it is the end of the night I just took my glasses off I do have them here though but it is 525 I think that's showing up on the camera again I cannot see without my glasses I was just looking in the mirror with them off so I could see how badly it had rubbed off around my nose piece so I'm gonna put the back on here in a second but you can see I think on this camera that my nose piece completely wiped the uh, product off around you know the nose piece and that's I you know it's a it's a skin tan BB cream I did not expect it to be yeah I did not expect it to hold up against uh, the nose pieces of a, a pair of glasses. So anyhow, looking at the rest of my skin, I think it looks pretty good. I, I do think it looks pretty good. I don't feel like I look oily. Like I'm looking here in the mirror. I don't feel like it looks shiny in any way, shape or form. I think it looks pretty good actually. But again, I like a natural looking you know, foundation. I like, I like that look. I like that I can see my skin, um, and that it doesn't look like I have too much makeup on. Um, you know, if you guys like that, 
more power to you. Um, for me, if the more uh, high coverage that I go, the more I feel like all of my little imperfections come through. So I think that's partially because I'm used to seeing my skin. I don't wear makeup every single day. In fact, I didn't wear makeup until I was 38 years old for the most part. In fact, I don't think I ever wore foundation until I was 38 years old. So yeah, I'm used to seeing skin. Anyway, overall, I think it held up pretty good. Um, it is, you know, in my line. I'm not sure how well that's coming across in this camera. I hope I did was able to pick it up on mid the midday check-in. Um, but overall, I think it looks pretty good after eight and a half hours. You know what I mean? I don't think it looks terrible at all. I think that, you know, it is transferring a little bit where I can see some oils. I'm worried about my nose here a little bit too. That's not too bad. I do feel like it rubbed off my nose in the one spot, but it happens. So anyhow, if you guys see this at your TJ Maxx or Marshalls for $9.99 and you can find one that hasn't been like torn open and, and ripped apart. I was in a Marshalls here recently. In fact, I think it was my last shop with me at Marshalls video in the clearance end cap at the very end of the video. You will see uh, a box at like on the bottom shelf torn, um, torn up. So, you know, $10. I don't think that is a bad price at all for this product. Would I have paid $34 for it? Probably not. Um, but I like it okay. I like it well enough, you know, for $10. Um, yeah. So that's my opinion of this BB cream or uh, skin tint from First Aid Beauty. The Triple Protection Skin Tint is the specific name of this product. So yeah, I would, I would recommend that if you can find it on sale at your TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and I think I've seen this at TJ Maxx as well. Um, I would say for $10, it's worth picking up if you like a natural look to your skin and not like, you know, a, a high coverage, um, foundation or, you know, high coverage look. Um, yeah. And it went on really nice with my fingers, you know, all that good stuff. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and don't forget to the little bell to notify you when I upload new videos. And if you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below as well. I would love to hear your thoughts on this product or any products you would like to see me give a try. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye guys.